Hi guys, welcome. So this is going to be my first straight razor shave. Uh, I got this from Larry over at Whip Dog, and if you're beginning to uh, straight razor shave, I'd definitely head over there. He'll set you up with everything that you need. And he also has a guide there that I've been reading a bunch since this is my first time shaving, and I just have I have no experience. I've watched a few videos, but I don't know what to do. So I've been reading that guide. So. I'll go through some of those things when I get there. Um, I just got a shower uh, and washed out my facial hair so it's nice and moisturized. So I'm going to go ahead and lather up. I'm going to be using the, uh, the Essential Boar Hair Badger and Blade Brush. I've had that soaking while I was showering. And I'm going to be using Synergy Shave Soap Bay Rum Scent. Got my brush nice and loaded, you can go ahead and face lather. Make sure my got a little bit of moisture there. So, when you're shaving with a straight razor, this is from what I've read online from that guidebook, uh, you want to make sure that the razor is sharp, which it is, just come shave ready. Uh, and you need to pay attention to a few things like angle, pressure, it's supposed to be really light pressure, the angle of first pass, maybe zero to 30 degrees, maybe zero at first just to, because it's beard reduction, so you take off a little bit at first, and then, uh, then a little bit more. The skin needs to be held tight, so, um, so I'm, I'm right hand dominant, so I'm going to hold this in my right hand, kind of reach over like this and pull my skin tight to shave for the first pass. I do have my safety razor here, just in case uh, I get to a point. Right now I'm only planning on actually just doing my cheeks and then maybe cleaning up with the safety razor. I'll see how this goes. So here's the razor. This is the shank and this is the tang. And you can usually hold it with your thumb down here, one or two fingers here. It kind of feels good to have two fingers and you can kind of put these scales either straight up. These are the scales. You can do it out here to the side. Or straight down like this. Um, most guys online from what I've seen do this but it kind of obscures my view here in the mirror so I'm gonna start kind of straight out like this. Um, I'm a bit scared luckily I just had a big cup of coffee so I'm a little bit uh, shaking so I'm gonna pull my skin tight I'm leaning in here so I can get a really good view in the mirror. I'm gonna hold this flat against my skin and you're supposed to have light pressure and be moving. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of take a little pass right here. Just kind of getting a feel for it. Feels good. It's a uh, Got a mole there. Don't want to go with that guy. Clean off the blade. This is a bit scary. And definitely, it's so sharp, it just grabs those hairs. Uh, alright. Kind of flip this up like this. I think this is a better grip. Kind of inflating my cheek here a little bit. Saw that uh, Geo Fat Boys videos. Not terrible, not good. Uh, oh, that cleaned up a pretty good amount there. Pretty happy with that. Alright, so this lather's been sitting for a little while, so I'm gonna get this wet again and relather this side. So, the way it's supposed to go is that whatever side of your face you're shaving, that's the hand you should be holding it in. So, I was on my right hand side, holding it with my right hand. Now I'm going to my left, so I'm gonna hold it with my left hand. And I'm not left handed, so. I'm just going to have to learn this.
I felt a lot better now that I kind of got a feel for like how it feels when you're shaving like this. Alright. This feels pretty good. I'm going to go I'm gonna relather and right here I'm just going to get wetter over my nose. I don't want it to be super slick. I'm going to go for my mustache area. So you kind of want to have your skin tight. Pull here. On these passes, I'm not adding much angle. I'm just kind of going straight down. The idea of this is beard reduction. So it doesn't need to be a, uh, a perfect shave your first time because you're going to come back. Felt really good. I was actually cruising there a little bit. It's a pretty dense area there. I'm gonna relather here around my, I mean, I've got this lather on here. I just want it to be like really moisturized and slick. I've kind of gone over the whole upper face once. I'm not going to worry about my chin for right now. It's just it's a whole other world down there. <laughs> uh, it's a really sensitive area for me too on top of it. So I'm going to go I'm going to relather this whole face. Just nice and wet. Actually, you know what? I'm going to clean off my face first. See where, see where I'm at so I can feel. So that was a pretty Poor first pass, I'll say that. I didn't cut myself, which is, uh, that was my biggest concern, so I'm happy about that. You know, it's really, uh, patchy with where I got, um, a good shave. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna relather back over the top of my face and let's do it again. Make sure your hands are really dry, because it's slick. I mean, a good shaving soap should be pretty slick, so... So let me go back to my right hand. So I did find that I do like, in between I'm just kind of rinsing this off, clean off the blade and the water. Uh, so I do like to hold it like this. This Having this the scales up right here kind of locks it between your fingers. Right, so I don't think I was doing that good of a job keeping my skin as tight as I could be. So I'm going to focus on that this pass. Pretty good, it was tugging a bit there. It's probably due to me. Ah, uh, there. Got a little bit of blood. Took a while. Took longer than I thought it would. I'll go across my chin and mustache area now. I'm gonna relather. I just wanna keep this. This lather is fine. I just wanna be like crazy wet though. Dry off that hand. Alright. I'm gonna go below the nose first, actually. Gonna keep that skin tight and go like that. This is usually an easy area for me, right here, under the chin. I'm not going to get my jawline, that's just got all kinds of contours and just like that recipe getting cut right now. Dry off my hand, wash off this blade. So I'm just doing really short strokes here. I don't need to be, do these big swiping things. And it allows you to adjust and feel each time how that stroke is. You know, if you commit to a big stroke, you can do something you don't want to do. So this is going pretty well. So, only one little minor nick right here. Uh, 
So I'm going to keep going around my neck here just because it feels good and, you know, got to learn at some point. So I keep relathering because I just want a really, really nice lather to protect me. Oh, it's coming in hot there. Yeah, I'm not going to go down into these areas. I don't trust them. I'm going to relather right here under my neck. I'm going to go for it again. That's pretty good. Two-ish passes. Um, I'm going to rinse off my upper face. I want to do one more pass. It's I still have a good amount of hair left. I haven't been shaving too aggressively up here. Um, so I've been wanting to be careful. So let's give it another shot. After this one, I think I'm going to uh, call it quits, clean up with the safety razor, and end it. Switch hands. That was really nice. This is actually a pretty close shave over here. That feels really good. Get right here. Chin area, mustache. That's it for today. Clean up with a safety razor. That's good for today with a straight razor. It's uh, a few little cuts. I got another one right here, one right there. It actually feels pretty good. You know, I gotta definitely clean this thing up. But it uh. It's just really just getting started. For me, it's kind of getting over like the, uh, kind of just afraid of that thing. So it's good just to get going. It's good, you know, I think it's a really good foundation. I'm happy that that was my first shave. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up with my Merker 34C. So I gotta get like my neck and clean up my side, stuff like that. And I'm just gonna use a Derby blade today. These are nice and mild. They work well for me. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that then give some uh, final remarks. All right, so I just finished my first shave with a straight razor. I did mostly the entire shave, cleaned up with my safety. Honestly, shaving with a safety razor is kind of like child's play compared to a straight. Um, it went well, technique is key, so it's gonna be one of those things that's definitely gonna be a process. I definitely jumped the hurdle here, at least mentally, of just going at it. And here, I cut myself shaving with safety because I was so confident after just dragging this blade across my face. Anyway, um, it's really sharp. It's really amazing. I'm really happy with it. It's, it's exciting. It's exhilarating. It's nice to like feel that kind of rush while you're doing it and to be really zoned in on what you're doing. Um, it's going to be a process. So there's the first one. Every time I shave with this, I'm going to be filming, putting up those, uh, those videos. If you have any tips for me, please let me know. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, so now I'm just going to do my post-shave routine. I'm definitely going to use some alum on here because I def have some irritation. Stop that guy from bleeding too. Uh, so I can feel where I uh, did a good job and where I didn't do such a good job. So I'm going to clean this up, dry it off, strop it, and put some oil on it, and get ready for the next shave. Alright guys, thanks for watching.